Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and in this video we're going to look at my transfer plans if I have any for the coming game week 35 but also look back at 34, look at the league and see just how expensive my transfers were. As always we start by looking at the Midnight Mule FPL league and top scorer for game week 34 was Salome Usama with a team Algerian and apologies as always if I got the name wrong. 146 points. They triple captained Harlan for 48 points, and then Salah got 18, Estupinan 16, Alvarez 14, McAllister 12, De Gea 9, Gakpo 9, Stones 8, Rashford 8. And the only one on the bench with any points was Botman with 5. No one's really going to play Botman over Trippier, so that was a good score, and no real problems made there. Top of the league is still Jacob Eriksson with Skogs Glanton IF. 107 points they scored this week. This was their team. They had Haaland captain for 32. Steele got 15. McAllister 12. Stones 8. Rashford 8. Shaw 8. Kane 8. Grealish got 7. Jota got 5. On the bench, Botman got 5. Nothing else. But again, nobody would have played Botman instead of anyone who was played. As for me... I'm still at 108th. I got 129 points. My team was, let's see, Harlan for 32, Salah for 18, McAllister 12, Trent 11, Stones 8, Rashford 8. And that was, I thought, my best starting 11 of what I had, but I did bench boost. And on the bench I had De Gea 9, Solanke 8, Isaac 7, Botman 5. So that was a good score. For the bench, I think for the bench boost, especially seeing as three of the four players were single week players anyway. So uh, I'm kind of all right with that, I think. So 129 points was my total score. But I did eight transfers, had two free transfers. So I actually spent 24 points. It was actually a net of 105 points. So my overall score is 2,133 But I did get a little green arrow despite spending all that money on transfers. So that that was nice and <laughs> it was all I was slightly on a red arrow until the very end of the game where it was McAllister against De Gea and then whatever happened I was going to get a green arrow because I had De Gea so if it got saved De Gea would have got the save points obviously if McAllister missed the whole goal that would have been bad for me the best result I think would have been De Gea saving it but then pushing it out to McAllister who then went on and scored and then they'd have both got some decent points but still very happy with a green arrow seeing how much I spent on the transfers. So I am only 12 points inside the 1 million. And although it's not been it's not been a great year for me, it's been the worst year rank-wise for the... This is the fourth year I've done the FPL. However, it's probably been the most fun because I've been making these videos. And because I've got no chance of doing anything very good this year because I'm so far behind, I'm a lot more relaxed about it. Whereas previous years... I was near the top or at the top of the mini leagues that I cared about. And so it was a lot more stressful. But this year it's like, doesn't matter. Do what I like. 654 subscribers to this channel. If you like this sort of thing, please do like it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I do try to respond to my comments in a timely manner. So thanks for all the comments too. But of course, the biggest thing that helps is just letting the video play and watching the whole thing. So FPL Game Week website. On there you can see the content creators league and it shows where you would be so top content creator at the moment is still harry daniels fpl harry that is and then ben Crellin's second top and there's what's that 50 49 points i think between them so harry's not won it yet but with only four weeks to go he's certainly in for a very good chance of winning it i'm all the way down on the second page there i am one point behind fpl focal one position behind fpl focal but a massive 55 points. So I'm probably not going to catch him unless he too decides to have some fun because he can't win anything and he goes the wrong way and I go the right way. So small bit of luck. I may catch Focal, but it's, I guess, not really likely. So in game week 34, I made eight transfers. Two were free, so it cost me 24 points. I'm perfectly fine taking hits to make transfers because one, it's good fun. And two, I reckon within normally four weeks, you should easily make it up as long as the transfers were sensible. I'm actually going to track these for the next five weeks, as there's only five weeks left. So see how they did. Rare to Edison cost me one point, because Edison got one point in his first game, I think it was, and he didn't play the second. 
so I was one point worse off for doing that. Kepa de Gea was worth six points to me. Henry to Robertson was worth two. Castagna to Stones was worth seven. Odegaard to McAllister was worth minus three because Odegaard had a very good week. He got 15 points. Martinelli to Rashford was worth plus seven. Jesus to Solanke was worth one. They both scored. And Darwin to Isaac was worth one because they both scored. So overall, that was a net of 20 so far. So I made 20 points. It's cost me 24. So my game week 34 transfers is currently worth minus four. Hopefully in the coming weeks, I'll more than make that up. For game week 35, I'm intending to have no transfer. So I'm keeping the same team. And as for captains, I will almost certainly put the old mule hat on Haaland. Now it's possible we get early team news and it turns out he's on the bench, in which case I may move it on to my vice captain, which is going to be Salah. But as things stand, Salah just gets the old wee bonnet. So my team, as it looks at the moment, is I have Harlan captain playing at home to Leeds with his two mates, Stones and Edison. And then Salah's at home as vice captain with his two mates, Trent and Robertson. March is at home with his two mates, Matoma and McAllister. And then Isaac's at home against Arsenal. The only other, the only away player this week is Rashford away to West Ham. And then my only real benching dilemma, if I change one of these players, it's going to be Isaac. And on the bench, I have Trippier at home, Solanke at home to Chelsea and Botman at home to Arsenal and then De Gea away to West Ham. I think my goal for this year has to be just try and end up in the top million. But I have started thinking about next season, been thinking about it for a few weeks. So I think I know what I'm going to do for next year. Thank you very much for watching this so far. Have a good weekend. Bye. <laughs>